Good morning. Well, since I have nothing to do today, I thought I would make a new labyrinth. Now where I live, see there's the hill, so I have to walk up. And up here at the top, the township has this place for turning around. It's pretty big, eh? That's the back of my yard. So, um, I thought I would do something up here. Once I had a zen thing up here, I came with a rake and I just went round and round and round and round and round and I thought that was just nice and fun to just make rake lines. You can see how I have very little to do in my life. What's that? Did I hear somebody say something about housework? I'm going to get your name. I'm taking names here. Okay, well, <clears throat> now the way you begin a labyrinth. First, you see, if you get a handy dandy stick, if it's a long enough stick, you don't have to put so much pressure on the bottom of it. You can just hold it down here like this and have it against your arm. Okay, first thing you do is you make an X. And then you make these little things. And then you make a dot. Your dot is important. So I've made these all matching. I've got three of these sections whatever they're called. Just got a little inconvenient place there. So you see, you start out with a, 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 a cross, then you got one, two, three, and a dot. Okay, and you got the same thing here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now I believe you only need the dots at the top. I may be wrong. If we're wrong, we'll find out. Okay, so now what you do is you start off by joining this one. See, we're on the cross, right? Now where you join it is going to be the entrance. So let's... No, it isn't. So the entrance is down here. See, we want to be up here near the road. We're going to come up the road and we're going to walk into the labyrinth. Okay, so you need to start your first... It's going to be a loop. So we'll go to the other side, where we had you in the beginning, and you make a loop between these. Okay? And then you just move over one, and you keep the same distance around it all the time. And you make another loop, you see? And you come back here to your next L, and you in a perfect world, these would be perfectly smooth. But they jump up here sometimes. Oops, now this... This is going to meet this one. Okay? So now we come over here to the dot. And we join it up with that one. Okay. See what it looks like now? We've got the top pretty well. But we have more because all these sides have to be joined too. Okay, now at this point, you leave that one. And you go to this one and you go around it. Now I don't know... If you want to do those complicated things, like leaving one and going around it. See, and then you meet up with the dot. Okay. I'll go back. We're always going to start from this side over here. Let's pull this one out. And then we go around it. Now you notice that these circles are not circles. And I'm not leaving a lot of width because a pathway really doesn't have to be that wide. Okay, so here we join up with this one. Now where's our dot? Our dot's already been done. So now we're joining up with the next one. Okay? So you remember, so you see the people are going to come walking in this one here, go around that end, back this way, around this end. 
Okay. So now we'll go over here. And I think I'm going to put the camera in the tripod so that you can so you can watch it from over here. I hope it works. Let's try that on the camera. It's more difficult to do when it's a big time. Put in the tripod. Okay, so there we go. I hope you can see what you need to see here. Five minutes, so I don't have that much more time to do this. Okay. <clears throat> Try to get my handy dandy stick. Okay, now you see when I started this and I made my cross, and then I made my little L's and my dot, there's no dot up there, then I didn't make them all the way long, so they have to come out. There, you see? name for this labyrinth. Something is temporary. Evanescent. Working in the sand is if you mess up. You can just fix it. Okay, let's see what our time is looking like. Oh, we've got eight minutes. So, I guess I'll have to do this in two parts. That's the best thing, isn't it? So, I'll continue around. I'll do all these until it's a finished labyrinth. Let's see if I can raise this up high so you can see it. later how that worked. Well, this is Nancy today, and if you wish to do your own labyrinth on some piece of township turnaround road, it's not going to last forever. It'll last until the next time they come and grade the road, but how long is that? That might be a week, two weeks. Depends. The rains are over now, so they might not be back for a month. We've got to find a name for this. Evanescent? That's like going up in smoke. What would be a word that means covered over or washed away like when the when the ocean comes and washes away the lines in the sand there must be a word for that not purge anyway please comment and give me a name we'll work on this okay since i have nothing better to do and don't you say housework ever again okay bye nancy today